Salutation citizens, welcome back to another gameplay vid starring DMC. Now this is a game that came out quite a bit ago, I think in 2013, by a company called Ninja Theory, who worked on some acclaimed games like Heavenly Sword, Enslaved, Journey to the West, and most recently, Hellblade, Senwa's Sacrifice. It's, uh, I believe, the fifth game in the Devil May Cry series, and when it first came out, it was quite controversial, mainly because it was a new studio previously, it was made in-house by Capcom, it was a reboot of the series, and there were new interpretations of his classic characters, like Dante, Virgil, and a lot of people didn't like the look of him, they just really bitched and moaned for days and days, and you know, I'm a movie fan. And I've been quite acclimated to actor changes for certain roles for quite some time. I mean, uh, just look at James Bond and the many actors there. Batman, Joker, Spider-Man. These characters have been played by a plethora of different people. And, you know, they bring their own, uh, you know, unique spin and they have their fans. I was going to look past all that because I wanted to experience what's most important to me. And that is... Is it even fun? Does the game have all the tropes of a proper, you know, DMC experience? Like the over-the-top attitude? Is the combo system, like, fluid? You know, are the characters characters endearing? Still can't talk. So, sorry for that. And uh, why now? It's 2018, you know, I'm playing it for the first time. And, uh, well, I was having a conversation with my main man, Sky Roan. Hopefully, he can be your main man in the future. Um, <laughs> I'm going to give him a plug. Uh, he's restarting his gaming channel, The Weekly Core, where you can go there for all sorts of gaming news, playthroughs, analysis, upcoming sales, basically all things gaming. And I was telling him about an experience I had recently. I was playing Gears of War 4, and I was playing on the hardest difficulty. I, I forgot the name of it. And I was just telling, like, oh, man, I'm, like, dying in two hits. I'm always restarting, and I'm getting frustrated as hell. And he's all like, hey, why do you do that to yourself? And it got me thinking, and I was like, huh, am I a bit of a masochist? Uh, well, that that's another conversation for another day. But I think it, it boils down to that I uh, like a well, fairly fair decent challenge and i just wanted to see do i still got it can i still hang <laughs> in games not it's not like i had to prove anything but i don't know i just i just want to do it and so how does this p pertain to dmc well i already beat the game <laughs> several times now and they have this uh, setting called hell and hell in it you get the most diverse enemy types um so you get some crazy combinations, so the difficulty is ramped up, and uh, most notably, you can only take three hits before you die, or go to the game over screen. So I th began thinking, like, hmm, can I do it? <laughs> well, I guess we're going to find out. So for this series, I'm going to challenge myself. I'm going to play on Hell and Hell difficulty, and I'm not going to use any items, so I can't cheese it by using the super amped up uh, mode that you can activate for Dante, the main character, called, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Devil Trigger Mode. I will not use any items, so I can keep on spamming that move. And um, I won't use a continue. I can take three hits, but I will not use up a continue. So let's see how that goes, right? So join me. Join me in my frustration. Join me in this gameplay. Uh, in DMC, Hell in Hell. Yeah, I can just keep the cutscenes and then um, just annotate like uh, bookmarks so people can just go towards the gameplay. The masked lunatic you saw there. Claim to represent an organization called the Order. Now this group has claimed responsibility for several serious attacks in recent weeks. He is undoubtedly a traitor and a terrorist. 
And I, for one, am not for the death penalty. One way to do it. Illegally shoot the son of a bitch. This is Bob Barbas, just doing God's work. Dante, get out of there, you're in danger. Who are you? What do you want? You were careless. You left a trail. Now he's on to you. What are you talking about? Who's on to me? The hunter demon. <gasps> he's here. for a hangover. No more. Get your filthy fucking claw off my trailer. <laughs> All right, now we finally get into the gameplay. Now, like I said, this is on the hardest difficulty, if that was not apparent already. And I can only take three hits before I have to go back to the continue screen. But our goal is not to do it at. We're going to do it live and hopefully can make it look good at the same time. Now, I'm not going to profess that I'm hecka good at this. On the contrary, I actually suck at these <laughs> uh, Devil May Cry games. So, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Will I lose my mind by the end of this series or it's going to be okay? Oh, shoot! Okay, let's try to keep shape. Ooh! Ooh! What's happening now? I can't see! Now you might be noticing that I am not, uh, what's it called, I'm not showing my face on this, uh, <laughs> on this gameplay series, at least for now. And the main reason is I got a bit of a murder face when I am really concentrating, and uh, yeah, I don't really want to feel comfortable subjecting my audience to that kind of, <laughs> that kind of thing, so maybe in the future I might bring it. Or I might show myself, but uh, for now, let's just try to enjoy this nice smooth gameplay. And have fun with a little DMC. Nice. Ooh, with the triple S. Now the letters in the top right screen have to uh, pertain to the, your stylish level on extending a combo. So the more varied my combo is in terms of using the different weapons, and abilities than the higher your rank. If you get hit, you get knocked down to a lower grade. Or in our case, that and losing a life. Too much, too much happening on the screen. Yeah, see? Devil May Cry, so stylish. Everything Dante does, stylish. Target 
target practice. Right on cue. Yep, and I hate these guys because they keep chucking like bombs at us while we're trying to focus on other things. Ooh, can't just suck up. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Oh please, oh please. Let's take care of these guys first. So, in terms of hard difficulties, I've, I've done it for all the Gears of Wars, all the Halos, and <laughs> I think my crowning achievement is completing the hardest difficulty in a game called The Evil Within. Whereas this game you get uh, three hits and then you can go, then you go to continue screen. In that game, you can only take one single hit. And that's crazy because it doesn't matter if it's the strongest enemy type or the weakest. One hit, you're done. You're going back to <laughs> the game over screen. And I did it! I lost uh, probably three years of my life uh, in terms of the stress I incurred, but I did it. So my combos right now are probably not really <laughs> that varied because it's concentrating. Okay. Let's go Tasmanian Devil. Go. End it. Cool. So that's two waves done and. Uh, no damage yet. Yet. Don't shoot it. My name is Kat. I'm not a demon. I'm still in the real world. You're in limbo. How come I can And I have white hair. I'm a medium, a, a psychic. I can phase into limbo and can all these people see she's like I talking to nobody. See, but I'm not actually in limbo with you. <laughs> if I pull the trigger, I'll die. I'm risking my life here for you. I want to help. I don't need your help. The hunter has dragged you into limbo. I can get you out. I've been down here before. I know how to get out. You fight whatever shit second demon dragged you in here. You don't want to fight the hunter. He's not your regular demon. Follow me. Now. Where'd she go? And speaking of, uh, hardest difficulty, I did mention that my friend Tyrone on his uh, gaming channel, The Weekly Core, um, you know, he inspired me to <laughs> kind of like make a series uh, for these harder difficulty. Oh, damn, that could have been bad. And he's actually doing a series himself called Hardcore Sundays, where he's playing a particular title on the hardest difficulty and just seeing how well he can do. Now, the funny part about that <laughs> is that he's been playing. Oh, don't, don't kill yourself. Uh, he's been playing Halo an Anniversary Collection or Master Chief Collection, something like that. And uh, he's challenging himself to beat the game uh, in under 50 deaths. But I don't think he's even halfway through the game. But he's already at uh, 29 deaths at uh, the date of this video. So I'm just like, nope, bro. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. But. Uh, I digress. Now he, he is a great uh, gamer. Um, it's just hard as hell. Well, props to him for putting himself to the challenge and putting himself on the internet where uh, everything you can be ridic ridiculed for. Like me, I can't talk for shit. <laughs> All right, so moving on. Now you're probably noticing there's a discrepancy between the gameplay model of the character, Dante, and what's happening in these cutscenes. The reason being is that I've already beaten the game, so I have access to all of the costumes, weapons, and abilities from my previous playthrough, so uh, that's why there's a uh, difference there. Breaking news! We go live to our eye in the sky. Steve, I can't believe what I'm seeing. Steve! So we got blue enemy types, they're weak against blue weapons. 
So that's the glaive. Uh, the glaive and the scythe. So I gotta use only those weapons. Uh, let's see. Yes! Keep it going! Yes! Ooh! Ooh! Did I get hit? Oh, what the hell was that? <laughs> I couldn't tell. I like disappeared. Did you guys see that? That's crazy. Come on, upcut. Nah. I'm trying to do a move, but it didn't work out. Just don't fall down. <laughs> Never give this guy a chance. Focus on the cherubs, they're our main nemesis. And then we'll focus on these guys. Okay, let's get some space! Okay, oh no, that's the okay. Yes, 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 feel it! <laughs> oh ho ho ho! I like it. Okay, so far so good. I don't want to get too confident on these playthroughs because I've learned something in my life. The universe has a way of uh, humbling me. The minute, the second, that I display some kind of overconfidence, that's when things go wrong. I don't know why, but uh, for some reason, life doesn't want me to get ahead. So, I'm going to try to keep it humble. You know, there's some times where you just gotta... You just gotta celebrate, damn it, after a good uh, a job well done. So there's about 18 levels in this entire game, so I'm not too sure if I'll keep this series going. Depends if, you know, people enjoy what they see and uh, I don't go crazy from this insane difficulty mode. Style! Okay, so now we gotta be really careful about this area because these moving gears, you can get hit into them. And then it's no good. Okay, so I'm just gonna smack, try to smack them into it. Okay. Let's just try to keep it safe. Ooh! 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 Gotta be safe! Be safe! Don't care! Combo sucks! I'm basic. Oh, nice, dude. Yes, yes. I like that. Sure, you can. Okay, Hope that works. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Excellent. And this is a callback to Dante's original platinum mop head hairstyle. Not in a million years. That won't work. Why not? He's bulletproof. There's a rip up ahead! A what? We'll take you back to the real world. We'll come back for the hunter. Alright, let's get out of here. Goodbye! Oh. 
Alright, so we got our first boss fight on our hands, the Demon Hunter. Okay then. Let's fight. Dante, wait. I don't quite to get this. She throws like a Molotov cocktail on his face. And then all of a sudden, it's him. working! Now, you can kill him. Previously she just said, don't fight him, he's tough, all this stuff. So but now, it's all good! Yeah, let's go take him out. And he's not bulletproof anymore, because now he's taking damage. So, how do I fight this guy? Ooh, what the hell happened? Oh shit. I can't see! I can't! It's too much! Ooh! Last second evade! You see that? Oh, nice. Use the axe to get him down. And then we enter devil trigger mode to do extra damage. Oh, he's gonna charge. Still grass, player. Oh, no, wait, try to keep it humble. <laughs> uh, I'm getting that overconfidence again. I need to watch myself. Check yourself, fool. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, let's just keep that combo going, guys. We're about halfway there. Oof. Ooh. All right. Let's use the axe to bring him back down. Good. Devil trigger. Can we take him down? Can we take him? Yeah! There we go! Let's go! Let's go! There we go, Dante. Son of who? Poor mother. I don't know my mother, but if you're calling me a son of a bitch, you wouldn't be the <laughs> I see no cut mark. He just he just fell asleep. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna shut up. You guys can watch these uh, cut scenes. I've seen them enough. I barely remember her. Hey Dante. How do you know my name? My boss knows you. He wants to meet. Please? I helped you back there. I didn't ask for your help. do with that mass freak on the net that's my boss wonderful can't wait we're just receiving reports of a terrorist attack that's taking place at the bellevue pier in the western district of the city police are asking the public to remain vigilant further terrorist attacks could take place anywhere anytime and when you least expect them 
We have your scent, son of Sparta. Now it is just a matter of time. All right, that is one in the bag for Hell and Hell Difficulty in DMC. Thank you for tuning in and watching me <laughs> just kind of flounder around with my commentary and in, in the gameplay. So I hope I can catch you guys on the next one. We'll see if we can keep this series going. And uh, yeah, as always, whether it's in life or in games, keep it sweet. Keep it too sweet. See ya.